Greek Art and Architecture Greek art is characterized by its devotion to the many gods and goddesses that were a part of Grecian culture before the rise of Christianity in Europe. Most of what has survived from these periods of Greek art is its sculpture, architecture, and pottery. The artworks as well as the architecture are easily identified by historians through an abundant use of symbolism as it relates to each of the deities it is meant to worship. Within the AP Art History curriculum, Greek sculpture is separated into three categories based on the age and style of each of the works. Archaic, 600 to 480 BC, Classical, 480 to 323 BC, and Hellenistic, 323 to 30 BC. Archaic sculpture is the most ancient of the three periods and is best represented by the few grave monuments that have stood the test of time. The most notable of these sculptures are the Koros, which take the form of young male warriors and serve as grave markers. These figures stand facing the viewer with idealistic features of perfect symmetry. The Anavesis Koros from 530 BC demonstrates the transition of sculpture in this period to more realistic features and dynamic stance. This Koros might have originally been painted with bright colors, similar to that of the Peplos Kore, and painted with its archaic smile to bring a sense of life to the figure. However, this sculpture is not meant as a portrait of a particular man, but a general representation of a male warrior. Classical sculpture is distinguished from archaic works by its use of contrapposto or the asymmetrical balance of hips and shoulders and the shift of weight to a particular side. Figures are still incredibly idealized with the measured proportions or canons that served as rules for the perfect body. During this period, elderly rulers were depicted as young warriors with strong and muscular bodies. Polycletus's Doryphorus, or the Spear Bearer, is a marble sculpture of a young athlete with alternating elements of tense and relaxed appendages, a perfect model for contrapposto. The sculpture was found in Pompeii inside of a gym-like center, though he was not originally designed in Italy. The original classical sculpture does not survive today because when the Romans took over Greece, they made marble copies of Greek bronze sculpture using lost wax casting so the bronze could be melted down for weapons. Hellenistic sculpture is identified by its greater use of movement and realistic modeling, creating a heightened sense of drama. There are clear expressions by the figures of joy or misery, invoking more emotional reactions than former styles. Additionally, negative space is used more creatively, allowing for sculptures to be viewed from all sides and angles. The seated boxer from 100 BC is a rare Hellenistic bronze, depicts a more elderly athlete defeated and injured in a fight. Copper is used to highlight different parts of the figures. In addition to sculpture, Greek art included innovations in pottery. Red and black figure designs decorate amphoras or craters, types of vases meant to hold wine or oil. These figures painted on each vase reflected classical and Hellenistic styles of contrapposto and dynamics. In the Niobides crater from 460 BC, the artist depicted the story of Niobid, a woman who bragged about her fertility to the goddess Leto, mother of Apollo and Artemis. As a punishment for her hubris, Leto's twins kill each of Niobid's 12 children. This vase is also significant because of the first of its kind to neglect the use of isocephalism, a tradition of depicting heads on the same level. Greek architecture was designed primarily as temples to honor the pagan gods, but these structures were not meant to be accessed by the public. The front and the back of the temples were nearly indistinguishable for this reason, the only difference being their statuary decorations. The temple facade would have had a pediment, cornice, metopes, triglyphs, architrave, and columns. These columns are made up of capitals and shafts, with three different types of capitals to distinguish between. Doric, the most simplistic, Ionic with scroll-like fixtures, and Corinthian, made up of small leaves surrounding the column. Perhaps the most notable work of Greek architecture is the Parthenon, constructed atop the Acropolis in Athens. The temple is Doric, with different Ionic elements within the rear room and the interior frieze. Another important revelation during this time in Greece was the use of algebra and geometry to create the proportions of the Parthenon. This temple was meant to honor the goddess Athena, and throughout antiquity, a gigantic statue of the goddess stood inside, decorated with gold and ivory. Greek art on the whole was an extremely influential period for future artistic movements. The traditions of this era completely inspired the Italian Renaissance, a rebirth of the classical era inspired by the ancient masters. Although much of what originally existed, whether it be paintings, bronze sculptures, buildings, or pottery that failed to survive the centuries, Greek art continues to influence the artistic and especially the architectural world in the modern day.